Alright, we're going to be coaching Vitark again. Last time he was rolling uncontrollably. Uh, I don't know how long ago this um, is, is after the coaching, but... I, I don't know. Um, basically, he says that he just doesn't know what to do against Yoshis when he when they get in his face, so let's see what happens. Just gotta look out for um, his narrative shield and back air kill percents. Like, back air is the kill move for Noshi. And, and, and edge guarding and getting a read with the up smash or whatever or force smash. That's a good the way. It's you know, she's not too great. Um, there's a lot of other ways you could try. You could have started neutral, like uh, jump up here to the hydra through here, which is like probably the, the thing to do on battlefield, so you could get that little wall off early. Um, backing off and charging food without putting the hydra down is very bad. Um, doing that is j jumping off here early is fine. But you should have waited just a little bit longer to see what your opponent goes to do and then land. It looks like he does his dash attack to catch you landing. Okay, so Yoshis, when they jab your shield, they jab again. They don't roll, they don't they do a grab, they don't jump, they don't jump read. They do a jab again. Just hold the, you gotta hold shield again or roll behind them. After the second jab, not the first one. You, you should have fast followed the fair. That's fine. Again, he likes to get in your face. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to be patient. Good. No. Um. Instead of smashing the hydra, we should have charged the fruit here because when your opponent was up here, there's no no reason to be smashed back in the hydrant. Not any fair. Again. So when he's a hit stun, you have him in a uh, in a um a uh, hit stun um a um disadvantage. I'm gonna say disadvantage. When you have him hit a disadvantage, he likes to nair out of it. As some people double jump, some people air dodge, some people will come down swinging, some people DI. He has not double jump here. That's safe, yeah. It's not safe, it'll, it'll beat you, um, your fruit. Okay, so if you hold ledge for too long, he will, people will run up here and do dash attack. Or, if you hold the ledge for too long, go, they'll dash up here. And then wait for and read your book roll, right? But okay, so he's gonna think that he has. I I for how to explain this? <laughs> he's gonna basically faint you and then come back here and read your roll or your jump or whatever. But you can't hold ledge forever. Good, we're going high speed. Right? Doing that is not fine. Don't get impatient. You should have got ledge here. Uh, don't pay attention to him. He's gonna. He, I was gonna say he has to dodge me here. Um, his double jump does have armor, so if you were, did read that, he would have still made it up here. So he has to catch him up here. He doesn't have the armor anymore. After doing an egg, he likes to jump, full hop, to approach. Landing fair. He has no double jump here. He has no double jump again. Jump out of pressure. Roll out of pressure. Again, like I said, at a disadvantage in a um, hit stun scenario, he likes to um, do a nair. So you do the forward air, fast fall, hold shield, and then punish a nair. It sucks. Grab. Alright, it's fine too. Apple, yep. What? Why wouldn't he not nair? Uh, whatever. So it, it, put the hydrant down. In this scenario. Okay, um. So, um, it looks like your opponent's jumping a lot. When your opponent is jumping a lot, Galaka, uh, unless it's in hand, and orange, and apple, and melon, just simply don't work um, horizontally. Because your opponent's up here. The only fruit that'll hit up here is Bell. Or if you get a fruit in hand. So, throwing your orange here is not good. Again, I was going to say, every single time he approaches, he does dash attack. Hydra here is fine, but grab ledge. That was very, uh, very uh, dangerous. He could have, like, um, with the platform, it didn't air. Good. I was going to say, he likes to land on top of you with aerials. He's not going to double jump fit you. I haven't seen him double, double jump fit yet. He's going to double jump here. Oh, he's going to grab ledge. Good. If you caught that, he was dead. So Yoshi's down B. Um, when using it to get down on the stage, when they're up here, 
Um, I don't know how, but they do like a button input, and they can either decide whether to go on top of the platform or below. You have to decide whether or not your opponent's going to go on the platform or not. It's, it's kind of hard. Also, the stars that come out when you kind of like King D to D. So, you can't be too close to him when he does a down B, when he lands a down B. So, you gotta space yourself correctly and get ready if he's gonna go platform or here. Mm. Oh my god, Mazza. I don't know, I don't think, I think a little bit more percent and Apple will kill. Oh, right, god, I god. just got back and I'm watching Mazza and fucking destroy VTARC. Okay, right. Hydrogen there was more optimal. Good, air, I would air dodge there. Not direction, I dodge, just air dodge. Good. Take the stage control. That's not the way you should take the stage control. I think it's a missed input. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah. So when you have, um, when he has a vertibility, you're you're roll behind him. Good opponents will be ready for that. Again, dash attack when you're on the ground. He wants to get in your face a lot. Gib attack. So he is. It looks like even though you're nowhere near, nowhere near him, and he did get up attack. That says to me that it's a habit of Yoshi to spam the A button. <laughs> so um, in tick scenario, just hold shield, block the get up attack again. Nair and hit stun. You should have fast. You should went with the platform with the Nair. How are you doing? Babe? I almost guarantee he went. Oh, never mind. Again, so that's what I mean by the zombie. How are you doing? Hi, good. Good. I'm about to eat, but I won't take a He's gonna diligent pass a hype, yep. So it's very hard for Yoshis to grab a ledge. It's, it's pretty hard. Most of the time, especially online Yoshis, won't grab a ledge at all. They just jump past it. So you can do a smash deck here, you can uh, put a hydro down here and do a smash deck here. It's like you can do a lot of things. But if you even so gimp him if he doesn't have a double jump, mm -mm 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 -mm. dead man. No. Okay. Okay. Again, letting fair. He likes to attack out of disadvantage. Where did Since you I got that. There it is. What did you set up for yourself? The extra uh, no. How do I especially not launch it first? All right, get the bell. I, I would I get the, the bell here. Deck. I realized you could launch. Or what? You could launch apps with it. Yeah. You could do a bunch of other stuff. It's, if you knew that he was gonna do a back air after the falling through the platforms, and you spaced it correctly and did a four smash, he was dead. By the way, he's yeah, showing you. Jabs, Just don't get, don't lose confidence. He's showing uh, you. Roll and the jab. So I did that. And to backer, yeah, I saw it coming. And I made a good. He's gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna come off the platform. So again, the, the ways to get off platform are fast fall off the corner here, both corners, and fast uh, go through the platform or jump jump off it. This guy is since he's mashing his butt off, he's gonna go fast fall off the plat corner. You could have done a smash here. If you're fast oh, enough, good parry. Profile. Get the bell here. And good. Everything that's Back here. Is going to be that's fine. Hit that button, everything pops up that you want. I'll go grab here, yeah, but you no, mess, you messed up the dash. He's gonna jump here? Well, oh, he's gonna go blood shit. Okay, to, again, to catch the landing, he's gonna do dash attack. To avoid that, air dodge. OBS. But, like, don't air dodge up. Diagonal because there's no there's a lot of that. ITunes, opens up the Good patience. Of shame, and Discord. Yeah, that's a that's a brilliant idea. Uh, but so what I've done is I loaded mm, up. Yeah, like he's a been crossing you. Okay, he hasn't done here. That's best. scary. You got lucky. You got very very lucky here. Seriously. Yeah. yeah he's looking for the kill setup. Yo, just kill setups are smash attacks and back here. Look up for them. I was gonna say he's gonna forward air there. He's Miles smashing his butt off for the kill right now. That's that's great. You Up air. Cool uh -huh. it is that it's like okay, yeah, it's gonna make our streaming experience way better, both for our viewers and ourselves. I uh, good D. I love the DIL. Very patient. I love it. Just the streaming. Okay, I was about to say you should have stalled out with the hydrant first. If your opponents are here, they're looking to do a runoff and then back air, so you can. Get in Texas area on the stage. Do they want to stage by Q? If you stall out with the hydrant first, uh, mix it up by the way. Don't always stall out with the hydrant. But in this area, when your punch are here, you gotta be ready to stall out with the hydrant. So you stall if you had stalled off the hydrant first, you would not get hit by this. And in, in the game one. Um, so far, I would say that you are struggling 
to get in. No, not get in. You're struggling to keep the uh, Yoshi out. He is keep get, he's keep he keeps getting in. You suck at keeping him in disadvantage state because he keeps landing of aerials. If you were to anticipate those and either space yourself and can't punish his landing, or shield the shield is attack and do it out of shield option, um, you could be doing a lot better, a lot lot better. Uh, let's go to game two. All right, we got game number two here, and last time we played in Battlefield, this time we're gonna be playing in Battlefield again because it's probably Battlefield random. Again, he started neutral. You guys both started neutral the same way, and I'm very upset about that. You guys both ran up here, and you guys did it, and of course he won just like last time. Good. Again, even uh, here, he didn't air out of this advantage. He is a mashing so hard. You can be punishing these mashes if you hold right, shield. Go I was, yeah, was going to say he's going to dash tank. Yep. Good. You see? Out of out of head stun, he's going to do nair. And you... And you read that? Dodge him here. Good. If you punish this, if you do like a, a V back air, he is in a very bad situation. Good. So, throwing the hydrogen here, it gave you so much damage control. Let's see what you do with it. Oh, ooh, I, I thought I was going to dash deck there. That, that, that nair lingers here. Um, I think it's the second time or third time he's approached with grab. Or he, like, land with grab. But Yoshi's grab isn't kill at all or combo. So it's not too bad, but still, it's percentage. Good. Okay, good. I love the DI'd out. I love it. And you put the belt pellet behind you, just in case you they hit the pellet. I love that. That's a habit I need to get into. I think more Pac-Man should do that. The amount of times I got gimped by a projectile or whatever because they hit my pellet is insane. It happens so much. Fair. Mm -hmm. Again, if okay, so imagine this: we fared him, we run up, we shield, we block the nair, and then we throw the bell in his face, and we ask smash him. Okay, back air. He's gonna jump right here. Yep. Okay, I was gonna say he's gonna look for the ground. Okay, so it's ready. Okay, so here. If you throw it, if you do a short hop and throw it right here, his he has to jump to get to you. And he wants to get he does not play patient. He doesn't he he's I almost guarantee if, if you were to do short hop here and throw him out here. He's not going to fall off here because he ha he's going to get the melon. So he has to jump here and fast forward through his platform to get to you. So, I almost guarantee he if you did do that, he would not do here and go, okay, I'm just going to wait this little setup of his out. No, he, he wants in. See what I was talking about? He, he was going to jump up here. But you were patient with the melon. That's awesome. I, Apple might kill. I think it does. I have no idea what the percentage. You can not even figure yeah. I had to turn off the music so I can fucking hear it. Good. I'm good. Get the gal, okay, yep. He's gonna see he's gonna uh, get backwards and back into the fair there. Okay, after landing fair, smash attack again. After again, smash attack. He's he's mashing out of these disadvantage. See how he's mashing his butt off, dude? Stairs come out, he can't he has to space himself across with the dumb Mm-hmm. You could up tilt. You could up tilt that into a nair. Again, throwing horizontal fruit when he's jumping every single time is just not gonna work. Good. He's gonna jump here. Yep. I was gonna say he's almost guaranteed to jump out because he's confident. But that side be able to beat him. Yeah. Good. Good. Aww. I, I was gonna say I, I would have thrown the hydrogen down instead, but it's fine. Okay, so against pit people like mash, they will like they will hit your hydrogen, they will stuff at your fair, they'll hit you, they'll catch and stuff at your fruit. It just sucks. It sucks so much. It's so you're frustrating when you get like a bell set up and they just mash so hard that they just cancel it out. It sucks. He's chilling you. Good. I guess say he's gonna land there, and you you're, you're catching. It looks like you're catching onto it. Ah, good.
Okay, that's like the third or fourth time that after doing smash attack in when you when you're an egg of smash because and you like trampoline out or you did a hydrant out. You should be diing outwards instead. Of course, this is more Good. Than it should Gets be. bell. He's gonna jump here. Yep. Don't get greedy by throwing a melon up and then having to grab him. You don't have to. You can even use it as bait. Like, for example, if someone who knows how to play gets back one, okay, he, did, he threw the melon up. Uh-oh, he's going to look for a grab. I better roll. And then he can just punch the roll. Because the only way to avoid pack was grab is to roll. Or jump. Or attack him before he throws it out. Good. We're doing nothing right now. We should be recatching Galka. Good tech. Good. I was going to say, look up for landing back here, but he didn't do it. Good, good. Oh, good. Fair. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna he's going to contest you. He's gonna contest you again. He's gonna contest you again. He he wants in your he wants in your face. He wants to mash his brains out. Mm hmm Every single time he lands an aerial, he does an attack afterwards. Come on, Photoshop. Ready? Attack. It's another attack. Ready? Jump. Attack. Fast the platform because he wants it in your face. Narrow to sh narrow to come, um, a disadvantage. Ooh, we caught that. Good. We DI'd out because you knew we were going to land an aerial and we punished it. So, I see a lot of instances where you could have been punishing these Dell jumps. You could have been punishing his um, landing aerials into another attack. You could have been punishing. You could have done better when you were in his egg because every single time he did a champlane or a hydrant, the hydrant there, I think he did a hydrant twice out of egg. Not good. Um, I didn't see any bell kills at all, um, or key. I didn't see too many Galka combos, but he was key, he was he was pushing you so hard, and you just kind of let him like a lot. So I would I would love to see game three, but I don't see, you didn't you didn't say there was a game three. Um, but yeah, you just gotta catch on. He had a, such a bad habit of landing with an aerial into another attack. Or landing with it to grab. You can be reading these things. Um, other than that, yeah, that's about it. See ya.